Thank you for your interest in SPEAR MC's educational video series. In this session, I will be discussing data visualization. More specifically, data visualizations available in PeopleSoft 9.2 through Kibana dashboards. You may be asking, what is Kibana? Kibana is an open source application that provides visualization capabilities for data that has been indexed in Elasticsearch. With PeopleTools 857, Oracle began packaging Kibana as part of the release. With PeopleTools 858, the Oracle development team has continued to enhance and expand this integration, including access to application data that adheres to PeopleSoft security rules. This is exciting stuff that I will be covering in future sessions, but today's focus is on the 18 visualization types available to PeopleSoft users through Kibana. As you build a dashboard or visualization, consider the following. Is the data easy to interpret? Who is my audience? What action can be taken on this information? With those questions in mind, let's look at the visualization types available in Kibana. The first visualization that I want to discuss is area charts. Area charts are an excellent choice when you want to show how a total and its shares develop over time. Controls are interactive filters, like a slide or dropdown that can be applied to a dashboard. You will notice Kibana's safe har harbor statement. This is an experimental or new feature. We will see that a few times as we go through this session. Our first geographical visualization is a coordinate map. Coordinate maps are pinpointed hotspots that mark the area with circles based on an aggregation that you specify. This next visualization will keep the accountants happy, data tables. They are simply tabular data views with drill down and filtering capabilities. Moving down to the next row, we see gauges and goals. Gauges are the perfect visual for showing a range. They are especially useful when you define a floor and ceiling value and then want to show where your data falls. Goal visualizations display how you are progressing toward a fixed goal where the gauge visualization display focus on where you lie within a range. Heat maps are used to show relationships between two variables, one plotted on each axis. By observing how cell colors change across each axis, you can identify patterns in value for one or both variables. One example of a heat map may be dollars versus quantity breakdown. In this situation, size represents revenue and color may represent the quantity sold. The horizontal bar, the vertical bar below, and also the line graph, which is on the next line, are three very common visualizations. The first two are essentially the same, but transposed. The horizontal bar is preferred when you have long labels or when you need to display a large number of data sets on the category axis. Picture something broken down by all 50 states. Line graphs are used to track changes over short and long periods of time. When smaller changes exist, line graphs are better to use than bar graphs. Markdown visualizations render formatted text, including code. This is a great tool for embedding words, links, and even images onto your dashboard. A metric visualization is used to display a single number. I like to think of this as a way to quickly bait the user into further analysis. I see this used a lot with workforce analytics like headcount, hires, and terminations. I'm sure most of you are familiar with pie charts. Use them when you are trying to compare parts of a whole for point-in-time reporting. Region maps are another type of geographical data representation. Their use is best suited when you need to represent a whole area or region. The previously discussed coordinate map focuses on a specific location. A tag cloud is a novelty visual representation of text data. Tags are usually single words, and the importance of each tag is represented by the font size or color. This works really well for freeform text. Timeline is a time series data visualizer that allows you to combine independent data sources within a single visualization. A common use for this type of visualization helps answer questions like what does my inbound and outbound network traffic look like? 
Vega component enables users to create a variety of data visualizations available from the Vega library. Vega is a declarative format to create powerful and interactive data visualizations. As you can see, this is another one of the new experimental visualizations with Kibana. The final visualization is Visual Builder or Time Series Visual Builder. This allows you to combine an infinite number of aggregations and pipeline aggregations to display complex data in a meaningful way. Visual Builder tends to be the most difficult to build and follow, but it is a powerful tool when presented properly to the right user. That was a lot to digest, but some great information. If you are new to data visualization, I recommend that you focus on the most frequently used visualizations. Those include line, area, bar, and pie charts, plus the data table, metric, goal, gauge, and tag cloud visualizations. In closing, data visualizations should be easy to interpret, relevant to the audience, and actionable. I encourage you to visit our website as future videos in this series are coming soon.